Good day everyone! Today, I'm gonna introduce to you one of my favorite algae species, Laminaria digitata. So here is an overview of our lecture. So first, we're gonna discuss the hierarchical classification and phylogeny of our species, Laminaria digitata, followed by its morphology and characteristics, then its geographical distribution and harvest, and lastly, its significant success. So first, the hierarchical classification and phylogeny of Laminaria digitata. Laminaria digitata belongs to the Empire Eukaryota, Kingdom Cormista, Phylum Ocrophyta, Class Phaeophyceae, Subclass Phocophyceidae, Order Laminariales, Family Laminariaceae, Genus Laminaria, and Species Laminaria digitata. So this tree shows the phylogenetic relationship of nine laminaria species based on our DNA sequence. Spatial divisions appear to group a variety of species according to the molecular data inferred categories. Laminaria digitata, our main species in this lecture, belongs to group 2 according to this tree. Together with Laminaria longipes, Laminaria ephemera, Laminaria sechelli, and Laminaria sinteri. It was stated in a previous study that Laminaria digitata is the sister species of Laminaria groenlandica due to the morphological similarities like both species have comp complanate, flexible types, divided blades, and same sporophyte longevity. However, recent study based on molecular data favor the closer relationship of Laminaria groenlandica with Laminaria saccharina than Laminaria digitata. And Laminaria digitata had a stronger affinity to Laminaria ephemera and Laminaria longitis. So now let's proceed with Laminaria digitata's morphology and characteristics. Laminaria, widely known as kelp, is the most complex and largest brown alga. It is one of the most important seaweed genera due to its enormous number of species, biomass, dominance, and economic importance. Laminaria genus is derived from the Latin word lamina, which means blade, and refers to the seaweed's blade-like lashes. And digitata came from the Latin word digitus, which signifies finger and alludes to the shape of the seaweed's talus, which has been compared to the shape of a human hand. This is a picture of Laminaria digitata and its parts. We have the blade, stipe, and hold fast. The species' most common name is orbit, but it is also called as tangoweed, sea tango, sea girdle, sea ribbon, and red wear. Laminaria digitata is a perennial crop and lives for 4 to 6 years, although in some cases, plants can live for up to 10 years. It is commonly found at low water during spring tides on rocky shores. This species lacks midrib and it has a flexible and smooth type that is free of epiphytes except for palmaria palmata in older kelps. When fully developed, the digitated fronts of this seaweed have 3 to 8 finger-like segments. Its fronts is broad, leathery, and digitate. The number of fronts on each plant is determined by how much light it receives. The size of the fronts varies depending on the season and the place where they are grown, but they, re they can reach a length of 1 to 2 meters under ideal conditions. So let's proceed to the geographical distribution and harvest of these species. So for the geographical distribution of this species, so this is located in North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. It is also found in Iceland, the Faroes, Southern Greenland, the eastern coast of North America from Hudson Straits to New York, and in Canadian Atlantic coastal waters. For the harvest season of this species, that is based in Europe, it is from late summer to January where it grows slowly before picking up speed from February to July. Then harvesting usually occurs in the second or third year of cultivation with a season beginning in April or May and lasting until October. For the last part, let us now dive in to the significant uses of these species. The reason why I chose this species is due to the overflowing benefits it provides from different aspects of the economy and ecology. So let's start from the food. Laminaria digitata is a great food since it contains a lot of vitamins, minerals, and trace elements. Calcium, potassium, iodine, iron, carotene, protein, alginic acid, laminaria, and mannitol, niacin, phosphorus, B-complex vitamins, vitamin C, and a variety of other trace elements are among them. Moreover, laminaria digitata is high in glutamic acid, 
an amino acid that gives food its umami flavor. Umami is a Japanese name for the fifth basic taste, in addition to salt, sweet, sour, and bitter. Because the umami flavor imparts a mellow, velvety flavor to meals, it is widely employed in Japanese and Chinese cuisine, particularly in the preparation of dashi, a soup stock, or wheat also is a sea vegetable that is often used in snacks, flavorings, and seasonings. Lastly, it helps thicken, emulsify, and stabilize foods like beverages, ice cream, and jellies in the food industry. Aside from food uses, Laminaria digitata also has a wide variety of roles when it comes to pharmaceutical, medical, and food industries, which make it a very special species. The dried stalks of Laminaria digitata, known as sea tangled tents, were once used to induce labor during pregnancy. A laminaria tent is a short rod of dehydrated seaweed that when put in the cervix, rehydrates by absorbing water from the woman's body surrounding tissue. When removed, it grows to 10 times its original size, slowly widening the cervix and allowing easier access to the uterus. The tent's constant pressure on the cervix increases the release of endogenous prostate glandins, inducing contractions that prepare the body for the fetus ejection. Orweed is also utilized in manufacturing alginic acid, which is a frequent element in various cosmetics, particularly swimming aids and in digestion treatments. More interestingly is that it is also used to provide relief to people with diabetes. Lastly, it applies in the manufacture of paper, textiles, waterproofing, and fireproofing fabrics. As an aspiring medical student, this species really caught my attention due to the significant roles Laminaria digitata has played in the medicinal field. However, several studies suggested that an increase of 4 degrees Celsius of global temperature, as shown in this figure, greatly threatens the loss of habitat of this species. According to the figure, changes predicted in the thermal range of Laminaria digitata on the Northwest Atlantic as a result of sea surface temperature changes expected to accompany a 4 degrees Celsius global average increase in surface air temperature. Red indicates loss of thermal range, green increase, and blue may change. Given this, thermal stress may lead to variable changes in ecological dynamics of predators, prey, and the algal canopy. So it is of utmost importance to find ways to protect the species that greatly help us. That's all for this video. Thank you for listening.